Hello SG Beers. Smileboom recently released a new DLC, the A Healer Only Lives Twice Character Resource Pack, and I'm very excited to showcase this for you. So without further ado, let's get to the intro and then onto the resource pack itself. Now for those who don't know, the game these resources are from is Iron Will by Pon Pon Games. The game won the Bit Summit Award in 2015, which is given to the standout titles regardless of what category they belong to, and deservedly so as you'll see. The DLC includes uh, the game you can play it and see some of the techniques it uses, and of course the resources. Now all of the characters all of the characters are really really cool as you can see and they come with three or four different colorations each. And each one usually has a unique animation which I'll go through as well. And then these um, include the standard ones where you can take damage, but the default take damage pretty much overrides. And of course you have dragons as well. Different colorations But the unique attacks, bite is one, breath, roar, and then you have the gargoyles, kick. And then the change form is one of my favorites where it just kind of like uh, changes form into like a stone static idol as a statue is the same and then you have a surprise attack <clears throat> and then a lot of these as I said are pretty much different colorations next one is ghost which can actually fly cast spell only these models are obviously created just for this and again it has the usual vomit that's um, unique That's quite a, a move. So the next one is the Goblin Rogue. And its animations um, is pretty much the same with the attack, and then a double attack. That one is my favorite. And then the Golem. This is actually, um, when you go through the game, this is the first one that you'll actually encounter. They're considered as a sub-boss, I guess. Punch. Boot up. And it charges. Um, and again the different colorations Griffon yeah they've just 
just about got it right. I think the Griffon, sort of like a variation on the theme. Take damage and attack, and then the flap. That's uh, the, its unique one, and then the harpy. The harpy doesn't have a mouth by the looks of it. Oh, take damage. And that's it for that. The next one is the human knight. Now this one, because um, it's a uh, it's considered a character, it has a lot more um, of these motions. So where are we? we victory. Victory 2. Hello. Take a bow. Surprise, yeah. These are um, the usual ones apply as well for most. So when you're lying on a bed or in a bed and attacking and so on. Human knight with the sword. And then the human priest is pretty much the same. Got the same um, the same motions because this is actually another character. And then the same way with the staff. The next one is the imp. Now its motions attack. Uh, Jack o' lantern. Now this is actually one of my favorite characters, and it has hop, like jumping or walking on the spot. Lizard man. And then obviously the various shadings, colorations. Next is the Mandragora. And this is actually one of my favorite characters, or favorite monsters. Take damage, kick, do this for like a better. Now this one is pretty cool because um, it allows you to hide and it'll hide underground and then suddenly maybe it'll sort of jump up and kick unexpectedly. So keep hidden <laughs> and the scream. And then the manticore, the lion's body and the sting of a scorpion. So once again, the animations, sting. And then we have the merfolk. A 
as they attack this harpoon. The Minotaur, or Minotaurus. This one has two attacks, like that, and a sweeping attack. Orc Agent. Keep dead. When you start out, um, I believe this is the beginning character. That animation is just cool. And then the Orc Warrior. Pretty much the same. Again, these have the same salamander. Next, on to the skeleton. They have quite a few attacks. Slash one, slash two, the sideward sweeping. Slash three. Really love that one. down and this is this is the thing I really really like about this amazing pack is that the animations are just pretty much unique and um, apparently they have been taken directly from the game themselves, or at least based on the game, the original game of Iron Will. Another one is the slime. Doesn't really have that much, <coughs> but it does have um, attack and breath. And then this one is the elite various colors now the next one is the tree folk take damage obviously it attacks does this little dance Troll Thug. Boom. And then the other color colors. Now the Way Rap Mage.
finish cast. Finish cast two. And it does have a few um, map objects, you know, pretty customized. And also a bit of terrain. Now, because the um, main focus is on the characters and the title, titular ca characters, um, I'm not going to go into that. You can just figure it out for yourself. But it also has a few decent sound effects, actually. And uh, that's it. So when you purchase it and download it, it'll appear under your DLC like this. <coughs> Contains 95 models, 48 unique, 26 plus 22 character variations, and 45 char color variations, and also two main characters, a knight and a priest. And so when you want to create a new game, it'll also appear here you can see Iron Will and it'll create a new game for you to play around with of course some of these objects will appear here very very wide effect quite a wide range of unique and then some of the terrain. All in all, this DLC is quite remarkable, notably for its animated motions. As you saw, some of them were uniquely customized for individual characters. That's something you very rarely see. Um, it comes with 95 models in total, including color variations, and there are a few other surprises in it too, which I'll let you discover on your own. I would highly recommend this for all Iron Will fans and those who aren't familiar with it as well, in equal parts. I'll put the link to the DLC's store page in the description. In the meantime, this is the end of the video, and thanks to Smileboom and Ponpon Games. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to be notified of any new Smile Game Builder, DLC, showcases or content or tutorials that I do or any other videos I upload. And don't forget to visit me on Twitter and Facebook, which sometimes has content I don't post anywhere else, or the Smile Game Builder blog. Again, all of the links will be in the description. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.